Hey guys, welcome back to Angles and Acid, where we learn things maths and science. In today's video, we're going to continue on the topic of integers. Now, if you missed the previous video, which is all about the definition of what an integer is and uh, things like that, uh, you can go to the previous video. I'll put a card up here in this corner for you to click on, and that'll take you to the previous video. Um, but today, we're going to work with how to start with adding them together and learn some of the techniques we can use there. Um, and then the next video clip, we'll look at how we can sort of subtract them from each other as well. So here, I've got two problems here. Uh, I've got uh, negative two plus three equals. Now, a lot of you probably are just screaming at the computer. You know the answer. Hold on, hold on to your horses because sometimes uh, the answer is obvious, but sometimes it's not. So we need to develop our skill as like, okay, what is a what is a foolproof system that we can use to make sure that we figure out the answer every time? Um, and one of the ways to to solve this problem, it's not one of my favorites, but it is one method, is to use the number line. Remember the number line I drew. In the previous tutorial, so uh, with the uh, the idea of the number line, um, I want to sort of make room and basically count how many hops. That's the idea. So I'm going to read the question left to right. So as I'm reading the question left to right, I start with a negative two, and then I'm going to add some more positives to it and figure what the answer is. Whenever I'm adding positives, I'm working in the working my way to the right hand side of the number line. If I'm adding negatives or, or taking things away, I'm moving to the other side of the number line. So since I'm working towards the right, I'm going to make room for it by starting my number line here at negative two, reading from the question. And then I'm basically going to count how many hops. Well, I'm going to, I've got to go three hops in the positive direction. So one, two, three hops, and then figure out what that answer is. So I go from negative two to negative one, and then becomes zero, and then it becomes positive one. So my final answer is positive one. Now that's how you can solve uh, questions like these using the number line. It's not one of my favorites. I find it's very similar to sort of counting things on your fingers. It works really well if the numbers are really small, but if you're working with much larger numbers like 50 uh, minus 32 or something like, you know, when you've got bigger numbers, it's a little bit harder to work with your fingers. Same thing here is like if I have, you know, 200, uh, sorry, minus 200 plus 35, I don't want to draw a number line that big. So what else can we do? So I want to show you my preferred method, which doesn't involve a number line. So it'll work with small numbers, it'll work with really large numbers as well. And uh, the idea is to examine the problem to see if I can use this absolute difference. So first thing is I probably should, if we sort of think about the steps here, uh, determine if pos plus neg number. So if we first determine if we are adding a positive to a negative number or vice versa, uh, meaning, meaning the other way around, um, then we can go to the next step, which is my favorite uh, part of the trick, is to uh, ignore the sign. So we can ignore the negative sign for now. Step three is we're going to find the absolute difference. And our last step to this tip, uh, trick is to uh, put that negative or positive sign back on top as our sort of last step to make sure that we are operating in the right direction. All right, so again, it's a very basic problem, but this is the sort of thinking that's going through my head. So do I have a positive number and a negative number being added together? Yes, I do. I've got negative two and I've been adding positive three to it. So yes, it, it satisfies the first step. The next step is to sort of ignore the plus and minus signs. So I'm going to sort of ignore for now that negative and then just work with this problem. Next one is to find the absolute difference between these two numbers. What's the absolute difference? That's What's the difference between two and three? Ignoring the signs, what's the absolute difference between two and three? Well, the answer is one. And now the last step of this process is to reassign the plus or minus sign at the very end. How do we, how do we work with this? Well, let me just reveal the negative here for a moment. Uh, how do we work with this? Well, is our negative number or the positive number bigger in this sum? Well, in this case, the positive number is bigger. Therefore, my final answer will move forward into the positive part of the number line. That's what we get. Let's look at an example where it's a little bit different. Same style, but a little bit different. So here I got uh, a negative eight plus one. So if I apply the process I was just telling you about before. So first is to determine, do I have a, a negative number added to a positive number? Yes, I do. So this trick will work. Then I throw away the sign. So I sort of ignore this for now. And then I look for the absolute difference between my two numbers here. So what's the difference between eight and one? Well, there's a seven difference there. So, so the difference between eight and one is seven. Then we go ahead and uh, reassign the plus or minus sign. Which number, so if I 
reveal the, the negative sign from the original problem again, which is larger, the negative part of the problem or the positive part of the problem? Well, it's much more negative. So the negative is actually going to overpower and win the day. So my final answer is negative seven. Uh, that's the basics of how to add integers together. The next video clip, I'm gonna talk to you about how to subtract uh, uh, integers, uh, particularly if you're subtracting a negative. All right, catch you in the next video.